take one. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Trap Lore. If you are a regular here, what's up girl? Like, what's popping? Yeah, so a lot of you guys who've been watching me already know that I got my lips done and I did promise you guys um, two videos a week um, for my birthday vlog month or whatever, my birthday month, etc. And I didn't realize how like extraneous this process was going to be um i've watched other people's youtube videos and i've i know people who have gotten their lips done and honestly it it seemed like a piece of cake like it seemed like i would be swollen at most for like two days and then like i would be gucci after that but that wasn't the case for you girl um and you guys will see that in the updates in this video so please stay tuned if you want to see basically day to day what happened after i got my lips done okay guys so this is the morning after um i just been icing my lip but it's really 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 bruised right now especially on this side actually it's not too bruised it's just this side that's bruised um bruising is normal my theory is that she did this side second so i guess this side i don't know i have a theory but anyway i just been icing it um in like 20 to 30 minute intervals um it doesn't hurt it just feels a little like firm um i was able to eat Drinking is a little complicated, but I've been water following my beverages. Um, yeah, my mouth still looks like a bee stung it. So, yeah. Um, I could feel the filler a little bit right here. Um, she looks a little bit in the bottom. She looks a little bit longer. Um, what else? Oh, last night, basically, I had to sleep upright. Like, the lady told me if you watched the, um, vlog number two, or whatever, um, yeah, it was really uncomfortable. My back actually hurts. Um, but I had to sleep, like, face like my back and like upright because keeping it elevated will like calm down the swelling and the bruising and whatnot um overall i really didn't expect this process to be this ridiculous because usually like i don't know i guess i was comparing it to like piercings and tattoos because i've had a lot of those in my lifetime and the healing process is always good like really quick like painless but i guess because something literally like that is foreign is in my body um yeah i think that's probably really what it is and also the needles were like it's gonna cause bruising especially in your lip like and I'll be back tomorrow to show you guys how it's looking. I'm really excited for the results. Um, if I didn't insert already, I'm gonna insert a picture of how they looked immediately after the operation. I mean, the procedure. They was they almost swell automatically, um, cause I kind of remember looking at them and them getting like bigger before my eyes, like. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Um, I was a little worried, but I watched. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I watched a few videos, and this is totally normal. Like the ridiculous swelling and everything like that, especially because, as you can see, I got it some in my bottom lip. Um, and my bottom lip is fine. It looks 
fine. Um, obviously, I got the most of the injections on my top lip, so that's why it's behaving this way. But I can really see that when it does heal, the shape is <laughs> gonna be bomb. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, which is day two. Okay, y'all, so this is day Day Sunday. So today is day two, I guess. Like officially day two of my lips being done. They are still swollen, as you can see. That top lip is ready to run for president. It's ready for world domination, okay? Uh, the bruising is real bad on this side. This side is pretty much good. Um, I don't know if there's some type of science to like, the side that gets injected second, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with like the blood rushing to that area whatever but it's a bruise and it's bigger and the bruising is making it look bigger so it's just bigger in general um i can do this now or maybe i shouldn't that felt weird but before i wasn't really comfortable moving my lip and i've been icing my lips uh, i've been going back and forth in between two ice packs so once they get cold again i just ice them um I ice them when they feel a little like uncomfortable, which is most of the time, but when they're really like at its peak, I put the ice on it. Ice cubes work just fine too. But yeah, this is how they look day two. I really can tell that they're going to be, um, I'm gonna really like them when they're fully healed. Um, I don't know if I might end up getting another syringe uh if i do it'll probably be in like three weeks because my birthday is coming up and i don't want to be rude for my birthday but if my top lip continues to take over the world i'm gonna have to get some more in the bottom just to even it out yeah but i do like what's going on so far and i will see you guys tomorrow for another update Period. Okay, yeah, so this is day three. Officially, it's it's one in the afternoon. And this is the update. Um, This side is basically, like, perfect. And this side is still going through a lot. Um, I really don't know why. I'm not gonna hold you guys kind of stressing me out. <sighs> but I'm trying to I'm trying not to panic. Like trying not to think something's going wrong. And I keep googling stuff and they're telling me basically it's normal or it's just still be swollen and there's no for it to be uneven. I'm not really really worried about the unevenness. I'm just concerned on why this side is like more swollen like what is your problem dude I don't know if no because this side feels great like but this side still feels like tender and hard a little bit and when I say hard I don't mean like knock knock I mean like <clears throat> it's just more firm like this is like, and then this is like, just really firm. So, I really like that I look. Um, I'm just excited to wake up one day and it's just gone. I'm still taking the Arnica and I apply it on my lips. I just finished icing with this little ice pack they gave me that I've been reusing. Um, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Cause it's like, I wanna handle my business and go outside, even though, you know, we're like we're wearing masks and stuff like that, but I just feel like uncomfortable. Like, like I feel uncomfortable. Um, 
So I'll be back with the update tomorrow. And yeah, if you're watching and you want to get your lips done, I feel like just be prepared to be home or be prepared to be not out and about unless you're okay looking like this or people staring at you thinking you got punched in your mouth or something or i don't know stung by a bee um and also be prepared for whatever um reactions you may have like everybody i'm not a big bruiser like i can't like bang my leg somewhere or like bang my thigh or my arm or whatever and i don't bruise i'm not really a big bruise person but <clears throat> for some reason i'm definitely feeling a lot of bruising and so yeah so be back with this update tomorrow. You know how, like, when your mom greases you up for school? That's exactly how I look right now. But, um, my lip is still swollen more on the side. But, as you can see, it's basically symmetrical. It's just slowly but surely simmering down. Still bruised on both sides. Um, I think I made up in my mind that I do on a little bit more on the bottom lip, but we're nowhere even, we're not even 25% through the healing process. So, I'm going to come back and tell you guys, I'm done panicking and I feel a little better. This is actually a lip gloss this time and not, um, Arnica ointment. So, we're making progress here. My skin is flourishing. You see it. And yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey y'all. So it's day two. As you can see. It is going down. I look crazy. I'm sorry. But the bruising has gone down. A little bit this side is perfect to me this side is still giving me issues a little bit um anyways it still feels a little weird um i'm able to do that now before i was not able to do that at all and i'm still working on the kitty base but it still feels a little like tense right here only part that feels completely normal is like my bottom lip i can still feel like i can feel the product because this is where she placed it like right in the center um i think i want some more right here the bruising is subsiding it's still a little frustrating on this side to me but i'm gonna try not to panic about it that's my update for day four and i'll be back tomorrow with another one. This is officially a week since I got my lips done. This is really good. Like the bruising is down. It's still a little bit bruised because my lips were in this dark right here and here. So they still have some healing to do, but I have to check up. Um, when the two week mark hits and I still have 0.35 of a syringe to use um, 0.35 of the syringe to use and thank you rather but anyway um, I just wanted to show you guys my lips they look really good. This is what I'm working with right now. Um, my hair is a little fuzzy. I just came home. And I look really crazy, so 
posting my weekly update and I can do this. I can move my lips. I can make kissy face. It looks really juicy now, it's not like wrinkles. They filled alright, honey. Alright. So I just think Mark, thanks for watching. So as you guys can see, I went through a lot of changes even to this day. I basically got it done 12 days ago. And if you are thinking about getting excuse me this procedure done on the day-to-day -day basis things will change um so basically like you guys saw i was super swollen the day of and the day the first day after it was terrible i was actually kind of scared like maybe something went wrong um there are some risks to having this procedure done you just have to do your research and see um some people i've watched their videos and they ended up having to get their lips dissolved meaning they had to use something called hyaluronidase which is something that basically dissolves the product like the lip injection product if for whatever reason you don't like it or i don't know something's going wrong um with the product um you guys have been asking me stuff on twitter and my instagram dm um and some of my friends had questions for me so basically this part of the video will just be um a compilation of all the questions i've been asked so i'm just going off the top of the head a lot of you guys asked me um did it hurt um first of all i just want to apologize because i didn't realize that um well i did realize that some people were not going to be able to watch the entirety of my video because it is a little gory um hence why i put the disclaimer in the front but um to be honest with you if you're considering getting your lips done or you're just interested in the pain level of it, it honestly feels like if you've ever had like a lip pimple like around like the edges of your lip and like you like are compelled to like pop it that's what it feels like like a pinch or whatever so i would say like the most painful part is around the edges like the edge of your lips because in order to achieve that like flip like oh but that flip like that pouty look that most people do want you're gonna have to get the injections are along the edges of your lips that's just it is what it is if you're looking for projection like your lips to be like out more um side profile wise yeah so that's the part that hurt the most um if you've ever got like your nose pierced and like you know those tears that just come up automatically like you're not really crying but they're just like a natural reaction to like pain like something being inflicted upon you on your face that's really what happened like my eyes started watering and tearing crying or whatever but i would say one out of ten pain wise i would say a four i would say a four really a three but a four because of like the edge part and it was like ugh, like it hurt and the massage it's tolerable as you guys can see in the video but the massaging part is what hurts so you know what i'll give it a 4.5 the 0.5 is for the massage the massage really hurt it's like someone is literally like yanking the inside of your like lip like it's just it's not cute um another question i got was um where did i go so i went to laser away um they have many locations in um new york city if you guys are interested in what location i went to comment below or you can dm me on my instagram um but i went downtown at laser away um they also do other stuff like laser facials um laser hair removal um tattoo removal and you know lip objection uh, yeah, lip injections of course um another question i was getting is how much did it cost um depending on where you go anywhere 
I heard it ranges from like 400 to about $700. Um, I paid $650 for it. Um, yeah, I paid $650 for my lip injection. Um, another question I was getting was how many milliliters did I get? I got 1 ml. What happens is at Laser Away, anyways, I don't know how other med medical spas do it, but basically they fill you up um, to like a good amount. They they rather underfill than overfill because when you overfill, like the only way to get rid of it is the to get them dissolved. So I only used 0 0.65 of my syringe so what's gonna happen is in two weeks i'm going to go back for a follow-up appointment and they are either going to use more or just throw it out um i think i do want a little bit more in my bottom lip um that's just my preference and this side is i feel like it's not as much product as this side like it looks lopsided to me so i think i'm gonna get a little bit more on my right side um uh, so far i'm happy with the results and um yeah what's in the soap syringe so i know that's like some people think it's fat some people think it's water I, it's a whole lot of stuff i've heard and there's a lot of stuff out there that's probably illegal that i have heard of as well um i use juvederm xc that's the name of the product that was injected into my lips um it is a hyaluronic acid based product so basically hyaluronic acid is already in your body if you're a real uh skincare nerd you already know that hyaluronic acid is basically another word for moisture so it's in your shampoos maybe it probably it's probably in your lotions face wash all that good stuff and um also there's lidocaine in the syringe as well and lidocaine is basically just a numbing agent and basically as i'm getting injected my lips are becoming number and number um because lidocaine is in the syringe which helps with like the comfortability of the whole procedure because it is pretty uncomfortable um oh another question i was getting was why did i get it done um a lot of people didn't understand why i was getting it done um, and if you're looking to get this done also people won't understand why you're getting it done unless your lips are like super thin which is fine um, my whole thing is my lips I feel like if I'm gonna spend products on you know like lip gloss or whatever expensive lip gloss such as buxom um, or like lip pumpers or like trying to be pouty like all the time i rather just get it done so that i just have that look all the time i love how like i look in the morning now i like i liked it before obviously i just wanted a little enhancement and um yeah i don't i don't know if i really have a big like um when i was younger or anything like that i just wanted a little bit more in my body my top lip and that's what i got I really think it looks um, nice now. I am happy with the results. Um, if you're looking to get this done and you're scared of what people are gonna think, it's your face. Like, there's so many people that have it and you don't even know they have lip fillers. I'm just here being completely honest about it. My advice if you're going to do this, I highly recommend doing your research. That's number one. Like, um, I've been thinking about this for over a year now um do your research watch videos look up different places don't go somewhere because it's cheaper don't do that don't do that you get what you pay for like i mean that 100 percent um don't go to some hole in the ground don't go to your home girl don't do none of that like do your research go somewhere professional go somewhere clean go somewhere licensed all of that go somewhere that you're gonna feel comfortable you know what I'm saying? Um, I was recommended another med spa before I actually chose Laser Away. 
and um, I, after doing my research, I really felt like, you know, a lot of companies these days, they they really cater to like IG models and stuff like that for um, promotional purposes and then they'll treat somebody, you know, who doesn't have much followers or doesn't have clout or whatever, like with not as much respect as they would someone who's doing like a promo video for them or something. So I ended up not going to that spa. I'm not gonna name what spa that is, but I just rather go somewhere where it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not, I know I'm gonna be treated well and I'll be treated like a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Like you wanna have that celebrity um, feeling like, you know, like they don't wanna mess this up. They're doing the best they can, doing it perfectly, taking their time or uh, whatever. Cause it doesn't matter who you are, you know? Um, Another advice I would give is definitely to um, invest in Arnica, Montana. I got these from Amazon. I'm going to link. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is Arnica, Montana 30X. It's for bruises and muscle soreness. Basically, it's a homeopathic um, drug. Um, basically, meaning that it's like a natural thing or whatever comes from the plant. Um, it isn't really like something like a doctor would give you or anything like that um you can also find it in walgreens um i got this ointment i was putting this on my lips after the procedure this basically helps with the same thing um it helps with like the bruising agent you are gonna bruise um well you know some of it some people i know didn't bruise so i can't speak for everyone but I bruised really bad as you guys seen in the video but also I wasn't taking this you're basically supposed to take this I think 40 24 to 48 hours before the procedure I didn't receive these until the day of the procedure so that could have been an agent in it um also it may have helped heal faster when I go back for like my round two or whatever um definitely I would know because I'm going to be taking these before. So I'll tell whether it's the difference or not. And I, I think I'm definitely going to make a follow-up video to this one. Just in case I didn't address everything. And stuff like that. Um, another question I actually got. One of my friends asked me this. Was that she heard that your lips are drier. After you get them done. And I really had to think about it. But yeah. They are drier. Um, not in a bad way. Like oh my god my lips are always chapped or anything like that. It's just that. These are new lips so they're obviously not the same size they were before like so mainly like under right here and like here they like crack a little bit not too much on bottom lip because i didn't get as much injections in the bottom lip as the top lip so they crack up a little bit like especially like in the morning not crack like bleeding or anything like they just like they need to be exfoliated and i haven't been exfoliating like i normally do because i don't want to move around the product um the product is really malleable meaning like it's flexible and movable within this i think four week span so you don't want to do anything like sleeping on your face or that's another thing the first two nights first two to three nights are going to be very uncomfortable for you because if if you're anything like me you don't sleep on your back i don't sleep on my back at all so i had to sleep on my back for two to three nights in a row to make sure i'm not waking up like face forward on my lips or whatever um icing is really really a big thing um you need to ice your lips for sure um it's gonna help with the sweating swelling a whole lot um this side of my lip needed a little more tlc because as you guys can see it's still a little bit swollen like um it still feels like a little tender to touch not like but it's even when i put on chapstick i feel like pressure another thing is people ask like how does it feel i'm not gonna lie the first week or so you're gonna feel the product like it's gonna feel hard not hard as in like like knock knock hard it's gonna feel like firm like like your lips were more like mushy before they're gonna feel like firm like, like i don't know how to explain it like <laughs> but 
yeah um it's gradually the thing about this process is literally every day they're changing like the feeling of them the shape not the shape so much but like the feeling of them and like the swelling is gonna go down the bruises are gonna go away every day they'll feel more and more like lip like and stuff like that the product still has to settle and it officially settles like in two weeks four weeks max you'll really feel they'll be back to like normal like the feeling wise and stuff like that and yeah um i know this video was all over the place but i hope you guys enjoyed it if i missed any questions comments concerns you had please comment them down below i will answer you or if there's a whole bunch of them i'll make a whole nother video i think i definitely will be doing a follow-up number three um because this isn't even the finished look i don't think um they still feel a little I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um as you guys can see i made it to the 100 subscriber mark that i was saying i wanted to reach for my birthday i want to thank you guys so much for making that possible um it really means a lot to me i know a it's a small amount of us here but um i'm ready i can't wait um to be making more content for you guys um I should have another four, <coughs> excuse me, four to five videos dropping before November is over. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Um, thank you so much for watching again. And love you guys. Bye. Bye.